to see is what's called a reverse uh, shoulder replacement or reverse total shoulder arthroplasty. Dr. Brandon Kors of Ohio's OrthoSensi is an orthopedic surgeon who says this procedure is commonly performed in those who have shoulder pain, bad arthritis, or rotator cuff injuries that can't be repaired. Once the incision in the front of the shoulder is made, you go down, you go between a couple of the muscles and uh, go down to the bone, you resect part of the humeral head. Once Dr. Kors reaches the socket, as this animation shows, he replaces the joint with the inset reverse shoulder system. It's called a reverse shoulder replacement because you actually switch what you're doing there. You actually put the ball where the socket used to be and the socket where the ball used to be. What that does is it actually constrains uh, and almost turns the shoulder into a hip joint in a way and stabilizes everything, allowing your big deltoid muscle out here to be able to lift your arm appropriately. What he explains so simply, however, takes a bit of jostling. And then, as we look on, medical photojournalist James Harrison and I get to see the exact moment we've been waiting for. Watch this. In a patient that could not get his hand above his shoulder. Now, hopefully, he's going to be able to lift his arm again where he wasn't able to before. So, hopefully, he lifts it up to about there. Full range of motion. What could be better than that for immediate results? The biggest risks of any surgery, of course, infection and healing complication. Dr. Kors says usually within about two weeks, patients can start to get back to regular activity. Thanks for checking out Local 12's YouTube channel. Click the links and hit subscribe so you can be notified anytime we post new stories.